It's a very beautiful day here in, uh, it's a very beautiful. Are we done? Thank you. It's a beautiful day here in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we're going to talk about the ZV-1. So, I'm out here right now in the pocket too. Perfect for these situations. Look at that. Don't have the wide angle applied. I'm at one of my favorite parks here in Nashville. It's peaceful, it's quiet. One of the first parks I ever came to and it's just something I often come to. I did one of my practice vlogs here and I don't know, I just, I enjoy it here. We're here because I wanna talk about this camera right here, the ZV-1. Now, the ZV-1 is a camera made by Sony. The reason I got this was because I wanted to start vlogging. So, why aren't you using the ZV-1? You're vlogging right now, why aren't you using it? Good question, maybe we should uh, turn that on. We'll, let's see. Okay, here we go, now we're using the ZV-1. Let's switch it on over to the ZV-1. This guy was not, was not making the team, he was not making the cut. He was already gone. What happened was I was using the Pocket 2 so much that when I wanted to zoom and I just, nothing there. So I needed something that can zoom, get, get a little bit closer at least. I didn't want to bring my big camera. I didn't want to bring my, my expensive camera with the lenses and all that. That's just, a, that's just overkill for what it was. Um, not that my boys aren't important like that. I'm just saying I'm not bringing my big guys for something like a basketball game that's, that's uh, God, that sounds terrible. I realized there's a void between my, my main camera and the Pocket 2. And it's because the zooming and 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 the, and the even the photos, like the photos that I can take on the ZV-1, it's not like they're the most amazing photos. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing anyways, but you know, you can take photos and just capture moments and capture things and get a little bit more creative with, with the camera. When it comes to photos, the ZV-1 hands down is a lot better than the Pocket 2. Grab and go mobility, the Pocket 2, yes. The problem with the Pocket 2 is, is there's situations where you wanna zoom, where you wanna get closer, where you wanna take pictures, and, and it just doesn't have that, that option, that capability, so there's a void. And to fill it, this was the guy, the ZV-1, and I feel like he's the one that I've been gravitating to more and more these last few weeks. And I don't know if it's because I was doing this video and I knew I had to get some footage from it, or if it's just the guy that I grab. It's a great camera. It's a great camera, it does the job. I'm happy with it. He's staying on the team. I think I'm gonna end up with uh, three, four cameras. If you hold your arm out, you know, you can get what you get. I just wish, I just wish they had this camera with the wider, wider vocal. With the I keep saying vocal, but it's focal talking cameras not music with the wider focal length something like maybe a 16 would be good I'd take a 16 even a 20 a 20 a 20 would be fine like a 20 millimeter 24 is a little bit too tight anything between 16 and 20 would have been great but uh, 24 is a little too tight this works but you're the man with the stick and I don't know if you can do that then if you're okay with that then you're okay with that Okay, so I did a quick switch. I'm on the ZV-1 in my left hand. So this is the angle you're seeing from the ZV-1. And I'm gonna turn on my pocket too. And we're gonna do this. Now, here you go. Can you see the difference? You just get so much more uh, background. You get so much in the, in the shot, the lens. It's a lot wider with the pocket too than the ZV-1. This is probably my biggest knock on the ZV-1 is the range. It's, it's just a little bit too tight when you want to vlog and nobody wants to walk around with your arm out like that. I mean, I do have it right now. I have it on a, a Sony, what is this thing called? Uh, I don't know, it's the Sony vlogging uh, K2. 
kit thing, the stick, that the tripod, the mini tripod. I'll, I'll put the right name in there, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little bit tight and nobody wants to hold their arm out like this because look at my shadow. We're double cameras right now, which means it's gonna be a pain in the ass when I edit this, but it's the things I do for you. In return, do the same for me. See what I did? I don't wanna hold it way out like this. You know, it's like, it's comfortable here. But when I do it here, you don't see much. You see so much more when I hold it out. It's a bigger camera. The size of the camera is a lot bigger. You're drawing a little bit more attention, but if you don't care in situations like this, who cares? I don't care. But if you don't want to draw all that attention, this guy is perfect. The problem with the, the Pocket 2 is the, the zoom. Here's just an example of zooming. Like you can zoom in a lot more than you can with the Pocket 2. But yeah, that's that's the difference between uh, the Pocket 2 and the ZV-1 zooms. The reason the ZV-1 came back into the mix was really because it, it zoomed. There was a gap between the Pocket 2, which is like my main vlogging camera, and my my big guy, my big camera, which I'll probably cover in the next couple weeks. The mystery camera, the big camera that I have, it's like it trumps all my cameras together. It's more expensive than all the cameras combined, so. It's not like I wanna take that camera out all the time. You gotta deal with lenses and you gotta deal with the monitors. It's like a, they're just. <laughs> I think we're, uh, we're good. I think we're done with this and we will go back and chop this up. And uh, see you guys, uh, see you guys soon. Take care. Fresh McNuggets. Worldwide.